Everyone that goes to Fairleigh Dickinson University knows of the entities that reside behind these walls. Some have their own encounters to share. When people first get to Fairleigh Dickinson University, the freshmen are met with a ghost tour, giving them the history and information behind some of these more so haunted spots. In my research, I have tried to reach out to these people that have this information, and I've come up with virtually nothing. I've been told that this information cannot be given out. Looking online, when you search for ghosts at Fairleigh Dickinson University, basically nothing comes up. It'll say, oh, it's haunted, but then it won't give in any explanations. So, what are they hiding? Well, we're about to find out. The lawn outside the mansion may appear normal at first, but what is now a place for fun activities and student leisure was once a cemetery. People say that as they walk past the lawn at night, they will see the outline of a person in the distance, only to realize that no one is actually there. I first saw the lady in black the night we did the ghost tour, like August 20th or something like that. And she was just like walking down the road, like as if she was going to Park Ave, but she was like really slowly walking and almost like she was drunk. Like she was like stumbling around kind of. And she was wearing all black. She had like kind of long hair. And then we were walking back to the village and that's when I saw her walking to Park Ave. And then our group disbands and then we start walking back to Rice Hall and I look back because I could still see her from where, from where I was and she was gone. And I'm like, there's no way that she could have gotten away that quickly. Once owned by the Vanderbilt family, the mansion is now a place where students take their classes, but members of the family may still reside. One of the daughters of the family had undergone scrutiny from her family due to her sexuality and was rumored to be pushed off of the balcony. People say that you can still see her walking along the balcony or walking through the gardens that she once loved so much. And if you hang out by the fountain at night, you might feel yourself getting splashed by unseen forces. One group that had witnessed this ran away only to discover a bloody handprint on one of their backs. Some people also report seeing a woman in the windows of the mansion. If you go to New York Times, you may find an article about the murder of a college student named Tiffany. Tiffany was killed by her abusive ex-boyfriend on the third floor, the floor in which I reside. Her roommate had thought she was asleep and turned on the air conditioner for her, but later it was realized that she had already passed away. Tiffany likes to make her presence known by making things fall off the walls, especially mirrors. She also likes to make lights and the lampposts outside the building flicker. But residents of the third floor are safe unless they are of the male gender and are being disruptive and rude. That does not make Tiffany happy. You have a whiteboard <laughs> that you put up. And we were sitting here, it must have been at least 8 p.m., and all of a sudden it just fell down. But you had it really secure. I think you had at least four command strips, so you put it back up. And then the next day, it fell down again. After the whiteboard fell down, my book bag fell down five minutes later, after it's been sitting in the same spot for like three hours. My story begins with when I figured out that I lived in the room next to where Tiffany was killed. 
things would be falling off the wall like crazy. Like the first night that we were there, my mirror, which was secure, just fell off the wall. One, one weekend I went home and my roommate was by herself. And uh, she said that she was just sitting there and then the TV that we have that we don't use because we couldn't figure out how it works, it turned on by itself and then a couple seconds later it turned off by itself. I was the only one in my suite. I went to take a shower and then, so I take a shower, everything's fine. I open the door to our bathroom after I'm done and our garbage, like our big garbage can thing in our common room was moved right in front of the door. Of all the buildings at FGU, the science building is the scariest. Reports claim that people can sometimes be seen standing in the windows, even after the building is closed. In the yard, you may see odd-looking benches. Legend says that a little boy was buried under them. If anyone is to sit on these benches, it is said that they experience bad luck. But one myth that all students know is that after 8 p.m., nobody should cross the crack that starts the entrance to the path. Students exiting the building at the time must keep their heads down and never look back. Those that cross the line or happen to look up will see figures in the yard. One report says a figure even started running towards them. It is considered to be dangerous and students are warned to take it seriously. So every time after I go from the science building for my 8.30 class, I come out of chemistry lecture, I hold my head down to pass the path because I don't want to look right. <laughs> and then when I'm walking between the science building and the mansion, there's this one lamppost. Every time I pass by it, it turns off. So one night, uh, my roommate came back from home, and so she uh, was like walking from the parking lot towards a science building. And it was late at night, so she was already not feeling too good about it. And then she's like, okay, I saw something, like I was walking, and I saw movement kind of around that area, but I tried ignoring it. Then she would keep walking, and then she said she saw a figure, she saw a little boy. And like she started freaking out. She's like, oh my god, like this goes along with the story. <laughs> like, holy, oh my god. And so she just walking. She's like, I'm trying to ignore it. She kept walking and then foolishly turned back around and saw the little boy just standing there. 